Now I started this project before I had a video camera. Um, and the whole time I was doing it, I was like, man, I really think I should be filming this. Watch me make the last few pieces and put it all together. Oh, and uh, welcome to Davina Makes. drill about 75 holes for the edges of the hog wire to terminate into and that's what will hold the wire portion of the trellis in place. almost exclusively on the table saw. Uh, so the first step is cutting everything to length and then... Now these are pretty close, but the next step is to clean up the cheeks. Uh, just make sure everything is square on the inside corners and can sit flush in the mortise. And the fastest and easiest and most accurate way for me to find center is to eyeball it with my marking gauge and then mark that distance uh, on, from both sides of the board. And then the space in between will give me the exact center of the board. This chisel happens to be almost the exact width of the tenons, and so that I'm just going to use that to square off these mortises. So sometimes you just need to step back and let the wood kind of express itself. That's what I find woodworking really is for me, and it's a, 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 a learning process, and it's a form of self-expression uh, where I kind of am working with the wood, kind of allowing it to come to life in the way that works for that piece. To express oneself honestly, that is very hard to do. And so you're about to see me chisel out the same mortise from two different angles and in two very different ways, and they both came out great. They're both totally square. One's a little cleaner than the other, and maybe it was a little faster to do, but that's the beauty of it, and that there is many paths to a finished workpiece. And so this is not about perfection at all, and you need to, I need to, in every piece that I make, love the mistakes and see the tool marks, and each piece that I make tells a story.
using a story stick to pre-drill the holes to attach the top rail. Now these holes will get plugged, but I still want the pattern to be even and consistent everywhere that there are matching connections. At any time that you can use real space as your reference in place of measurements, it is a, a lot more accurate. Next time, for this kind of connection, I think I will try and do a sliding dovetail. Really, I think it takes about the same amount of time to cut fancy joinery as it does to hide your screws and to try and make that look good. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss next week's video. Thanks for watching. Oh, this is not the right setting.